This is your measuring jig. It is set by you before you even start to use it, and it stays set. It's a standard length for your reeds. Uh, the cane goes on the staple, as you normally do, and find the flat of the, of the uh, staple and put it on the jig. Take a flat cutting block or something, something flat and press it against the end, and it will always be the same length of the, of the reed before you, at, before you tie it up from one end to the other and it is very precise and it was always the same. There's a lot of good standardization in doing it this way from that point is measured and stays that point. Next we tie the reed on the staple using that small uh, screw that's on the side. Let me show you how to tie onto it and the string goes into the groove and around once and twice and it's a very strong secure pull as you can see it's very strong I sh should have done this years ago myself Here, let me do it again one more time through the groove once and twice or even three times doesn't matter it's, it's not gonna give away it's always gonna be the same next we tie the reed uh, up on the staple and with our with our string securely fastened, we do what we normally do as oboe players and go ahead and uh, tie it up and we need to close things. Just we don't do anything unusual except we're not using a mandrel. You notice that. Trying to get the reed straight uh, on the uh, staple and we wrap towards the top of the staple to get a close and you can eyeball it pretty easily and you need to look the left and right side make sure everything is uh, equal on both sides and then one time over and about three or four winds down like you were going to wrap the whole reed and then hold your index finger on the string very tightly to not let it go and it will be able to be moved over to the machine itself as we see our finger on the still on the string we place it on the mandrel uh, noting the flat of the mandrel, being very careful finding where the flat of the mandrel is. Staple goes on and we finally can release our grip and then we take some scissors and we cut the lower string that's hanging down, you're not going to need that, and then with our foot on the switch we, we wrap the reed all the way to the bottom. I'll do it twice just to show you. There, it's very quick. I'll come back and let you do it one, and one more time to see how it's done. I'll do it a little slower this time there okay it's a nice beautiful wind and now to make my knot it's I loop it twice let me do it again for you I loop it twice and then over the end of the reed keeping everything taut right there holding my finger against that as I let go and that is a it's not really a knot but what I'm going to be doing after I cut the string I will be using a using a brush and coating this reed uh, with a Minwax polyacrylic. It's a water-based product. You can get it at a hardware store, um, and there it is. And very common, very common to use. I use a small brush, and with this small brush, I. Just a couple of uh, dabs on the string, and I can uh, m uh, mix it around on the string evenly, and it comes up a nice gloss and a, and a firm hold that will not let go like a like a knot.